Hey guys, long, long time no chat. Um, so I'm here in Buffalo. Obviously, that's probably what the last video was saying that I am here. Um, but yeah, it's been really kind of a crazy. I look sweaty. Ugh. It's been kind of a crazy uh, last three and a half weeks since I've been here. Um, adjusting to life as an intern is a lot. Um, especially because I never worked in a hospital. I shadowed a couple of times, but I could never work in a hospital because of my immunosuppression and all of that, and I never really felt up to it. So adjusting to life in the hospital has been a learning curve. Um, it's just been a lot, so I haven't really felt up to doing much, and watching me drive to and from the hospital and walking to and from class and, you know, other activities of daily living, that's super boring, and I know that's generally what I film anyway, but, um, it's just been really boring. <laughs> so, this is me making a pledge to get back into this. Um, my blog has fallen by the wayside, which is unfortunate, but, um... I'm doing my best. <laughs> I promise. I'm, I'm doing my best. And, um, I mean, this, this channel, as I keep saying, is it's largely for me to get used to talking and, and being myself and expressing myself and explaining myself and just as an outlet. Um, and really I have not been serving myself well because I've been neglecting it, right? I, I really have not been taking care of myself. And, um, the thing that prompted me to pick this back up, I have a couple of clips that I need to put into a video, which will probably go right after this, um, that I've filmed since I got here. But what prompted me to film again or make this video, um, another car video, is I fainted. I passed out, um, in my room and... I can't even really say why, but I just, I know that it's because I haven't been taking care of myself. Um, I've been dehydrated the last few days, just kind of feeling run down and sick. And so I haven't been drinking enough and I haven't been eating enough and just, I haven't been sleeping enough and the stress is just, it's getting to me. And um, trying to figure out this whole drug situation. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but trying to figure out medications and what I'm going to stay on, what I'm trying to do, how I can get meds, how I can pay for them. It's a lot of baseline stress, and then you add on to it um, being a student, being an intern, being new in the hospital, um, learning really to talk to and work with patients. That's it's a lot. It's new and it's it's a lot. Um, plus full time classes and and it's really getting to me. I'm I'm putting the cart before the horse, as they say, in thinking about what's coming for the fall semester. Um, I know this is only going to get harder, and the fact that I'm having a hard time dealing with it right now is scaring me for the future. So it's adding on to stress that I already have that I just need to let go of. Um, so, I think what you'll end up seeing for the foreseeable future is probably some short clips of daily life. Um, if I learn something really interesting, I might make a video about it. I'll probably be making a video um, about diabetes very soon and my experiences with dealing with patients in the hospital setting. Um, generally when we deal with patients in the hospital setting with diabetes, um, it's either a new diagnosis that they got upon admission or there's been some major complications, chronic kidney disease, um, blindness, you know, neuropathy, you know, some bad situations. So I might make a video about that. I could also make a video, um, just about diabetes if people are interested in learning about it, um. You know, I thought I knew a lot about it, especially with my grandmother having diabetes and um, hearing a lot about it from that, but I had no idea just how incredible, in a bad way, that this disease is and how 
utterly preventable it is for a lot of people. Now, obviously, that's not true for type 1, but for type 2, it is. It's, it's completely preventable, and there are a lot of warning signs, and people just are not in tune with their own bodies, and they don't, they don't take care of themselves. Um, and yeah, I feel like a bit of a hypocrite, me just saying, you know, I passed out, I fainted, I'm really dehydrated, and I'm supposed to be the expert on this, you know, taking care of myself, taking care of other people, that's my job. Um, and being like, oh, you know, people aren't taking care of themselves, and there's warning signs, and blah, blah, blah. And I think it's just a lesson to us all that we need to, we need to be in tune with who we are and what we are. We get this one body, this one life, and we need to make the most of it. And I, for one, am making the pledge right now that I'm going to do better. I have to. Um, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I have these cases, these people who are shoved in my face on a daily basis who, you know, maybe they have been taking care of themselves really well. Um, and life has just happened. And, and that does happen. But there are a lot of other cases where, you know, people have done this to themselves and not not putting blame on them, but just saying, you know, hey, take a step back, take a look at yourself and see where you can make improvements in your life. And if it is within your control to make those changes, you should try, even if it's one small step, you know, at first, and then you keep building and keep building. That's how you do anything in life. And I think people are so, so stressed out with their lives and, you know, their health really gets put on the back burner until it gets shoved in their face and then it's usually a bad situation where it gets shoved in their face and then and then their health is a problem instead of something to take care of and to manage it becomes something that they have to treat and fix and that's never a good place to be so I'm gonna get off my high horse now and um just say there's more coming and I'm going to do better because I don't think I've uploaded a video in like three weeks or so. I think I had one scheduled to upload after I got here, but yeah, I just, I've been letting myself down in a major way and it's time for that to stop. So I'll be seeing you all again very soon. Um, I'm actually going to put those clips in another video because I have to edit it and as we all know, I suck at that. So it is coming, but there's going to be more vloggy style videos like this style of vloggy, or if I go out and do something really cool, I might film that. But I don't imagine there's going to be a lot of really cool things uh, in the future for me. So um, at least not until December. I am, you know, if I can make it to December these next four months, basically, yeah, four months from tomorrow. Um, Oh God, I just need everyone's like positive thoughts and I know I can do it and everyone keeps telling me that, but I just need, I need some good vibrations. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you for watching.